Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. I come quickly and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to how his reward shall be. This is Jesus talking to Apostle John telling him how he's going to give the reward to everyone whether good or bad. Whatever we have done we will get the reward from him. And he said, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Jesus will give to everyone according to how we have labored, how we have done in the kingdom of God. How we have made people believe on the word of God. How we have spent our life and been spent for the gospel, we will be rewarded. And some other people who are not so careful, they don't care what is going to happen to them. Some people even believe that hell is not a big deal. They are ready to go. I've met someone who told me he doesn't care. He wants to go to hell. He wants to see what's going to, what how hell will look like. I just pray for him that God will give him a change of mind and change of heart. In the name of Jesus, hell is real. Heaven is real. And if one misses heaven, he can never miss hell. So if you are not in heaven, definitely, if you go to hell, you're going to be there. May we not be children of perdition in Jesus' name. Jesus was talking to a church in Sardis in Revelation chapter 3. Unto the church in Sardis, right? He that has the seven spirit of God and seven stars. I know that work. I know that I have a name that you are alive. But you are dead. And strengthen that way that I remain, that are ready to die. Because I have not found your work perfect before God. How many people today, they believe everything is alright. And lo and behold, things are not alright. Your name is not written in the book of life. You've got to give your life to Christ. You've got to be sure you're on your way to heaven. Because the ten virgin in Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 10, they assume their names were in the book of life. They assumed that everything was all right. They called them virgin. They were virgin. They were righteous. They have escaped the wrath of God. They were holy. They were expectant. They were expecting Christ to come. So, they were qualified. But when Jesus gave them the assessment of their life, see, they were unqualified. And they were trying to talk to their colleagues to share from the hall that they got. The grace of God cannot be shared. The foolish virgin was so called because of our preparation over confidence. Not being consistent with the things of God. The grace of yesterday is not sufficient for today. We got to be serious minded with the kingdom purpose. I pray today that God will give us the grace to be qualified in Jesus name. If the five virgins that were so called foolish were unable to make it to heaven how, which category will you classify your life? Just bring to introspect into your life. Look inwardly. Look at yourself. Look at your heart. Are you all right with God? Have you, haven't you lost your salvation? Where is the peace of God in your life? If you have lost the peace of God in your life, if you have lost that salvation, you can retrace it back. You can be restored. By calling on God, by being sincere with God, by going back to your first love. And I pray today that God will give you that grace to retrace your back, to, to retrace your steps like a prodigal son. You will not be lost in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that God will give you that grace to humble yourself 
and to go back to God in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name.